Uh, it feels great. To, uh, you know, we worked really hard to get here and to get here and, and put a performance like that together and go out there and win the game. is It's an amazing feeling. So uh, happy for the club, happy for ourselves, and happy for myself, most importantly. How did you feel, <laughs> how did you feel after playing two straight uh, shootouts, uh, fatigue-wise, coming into this match? Uh, no, it felt fine. Um, did a good job um, making sure we had the correct recovery. Uh, so, you know, we had our had everyone go out there the day after, do a little running, and then we were ready to go for the next day. Take to the goal, what did you see? Um, well, uh, Brandon, Brandon did a good job on picking off the pass, and I first made a run forward. I felt like it wasn't a good run, and then I just checked it, and he was able to find me. And I've been working with Chris Armis lately after practice to just, you know, um, starting the ball outside the, the goal and just curling back in. I was able to get a quick touch out to the side and bury it. Last year, you were one of the most talked about prospects in USL. You obviously didn't play the full season. Do you feel like you know, this season you lived up to that expectation? Uh, I hope I did. Um, I mean, I don't really listen to it. Uh, I just go out there and try to play my game. And um, so the, the guys are great. They put me in position to get the ball, and just hopefully I'm able to do something with it. And I feel that I was able to do that this year. Derek, can you talk to the chemistry that you have with Brandon Allen? You seem to connect with him a lot today and mm -hmm. really throughout the entire season. Uh, yeah, um, uh, Brandon and I uh, had a couple of training sessions. He was older than me, but in the academy, and I just felt that we came back out here and just clicked. In practice, we usually do the same things. So, you know, I mean, it's a, it's a very good chemistry. I feel that we both look for each other when we get the ball, and if one's open, we hopefully get it to him and they, and they finish it. Derek, you uh, your dad won the USL Cup. Now you go on and win as well as score. Mm -hmm. How does it feel and what does that mean to you? Uh, it, it means a lot to me. Uh, I was in the stands when my dad was able to, to get the game-winning goal and then for me to be out here and uh, in the same league as him, you know, uh, over 10 years later to go out there and get, and get a win and to score a goal, it just kind of feel like him a little bit. But, you know, but, you know it was a, a great feeling. I was glad I was able to keep my emotion. Thank you. So they're calling, um, obviously, the chants now, the Haitian Messi chants are, are all over the place. Mm -hmm. Do you kind of want them to start chanting at, at Messi? Uh, <laughs> later, uh, no, I mean, it's a great honor to be, to be called Haitian Messi. I honestly would like to, to know why they, they actually, the fans actually came up with that name. But, uh, but you know, I mean, it's a complete honor to be, to be called um, the Haitian of, of Messi, who's probably the greatest player of all time. gotten some uh, calls before. Do you think that today and your season in general has really uh, contributed to getting more calls from them in the future? Yeah, um, I'm in touch with them a lot and they're, they're telling me that they're always watching the game so I just go out there and I just hopefully be able to, to first and foremost get wins with the team but I feel that if we get wins and I'm able to play my part in the game that's just going to call me up and, and get me chances with them so I'm just glad that I was able to contribute with the team which uh, ultimately got me the call up with Haiti. You had a tremendous year in terms of personal growth on the field. What are you looking forward to over the uh, off season to work on? Uh, to just you know, just keep going on a on a on a good path. I mean, I felt that after I was on a I was on a good start with USL last year, and then going off to college, and then coming back, I felt that I had to start over a little bit with uh, with all the tactics and stuff. So just to continue what we are we're doing here, and just hoping to continue to grow.